So guys, so a little update on the same uh, dozer here. So the last day when I 3D printed the parts for the Volvo dump truck, I also printed this little motor holder piece here. So uh, basically the idea is that these two motors, which I've uh, now bolted together, I don't think that was on the last one. There was, there was already a hole in the top of these two motors, so I just put a M2 bolt through that. We can put them in position like that. Get this little piece. That over there like that. And then there's two holes in the uh, chassis here that are actually where the screws go for the cab. But just to hold it in place for now, I'm going to use these M3 bolts. If I can. So this would be the part that I would normally be cutting out if I was uh, editing the videos. Okay, maybe one will do for this experiment. So that goes in there like that. And then our parts that we had from before, we'll just push those on. Because this is uh, sort of loose here, it'll mean that the motors can move back and forward. So it doesn't have to be a perfect alignment of the gears. Which is just as well because, uh, well, uh, doing anything by hand would not be perfectly round, that's for sure. And even the 3D printed parts probably aren't 100% perfect. Okay, so that's the two motors in place. Use this uh, battery here. I'm just going to use one cell from this battery. So it's actually a two cell battery. Um, I'll just show you, watch this wheel here. So you can see that one works fine there. And the same on the other side, so they rotate uh, easily enough, no real issue there. Uh, I'll give a go of putting the track on, but I don't have a whole lot of confidence that this will go well in a, in a single shot. Usually what happens is the springs shoot off everywhere. That part goes in there. There we go. Okay, well that went alright. Get this up here. So 
let's just try powering this now that we have a, a track on it. Probably fall apart pretty quickly, but we'll just have a look. So it's getting tight. I'm not sure why that was the case. The track itself doesn't seem all that tight. Unless the battery's gone flat. I, did, I thought it was fully charged. It works well in one direction. That's quite strange. Seems to work better in one direction than the other. I'm not sure why that is. A bit more investigation required there. But generally that's uh, not too bad. The uh, the track was spinning around alright there, it seemed to be able to drive this uh, piece, I, I'm going to have to come up with a way to hold it properly um, at the minute it's pretty loose so I'll, I'll probably have to put two bolts through the side, maybe one through there and one through this side to hold it on because at the minute it's just just pure luck really that uh, it's not falling apart the spring thing up here to keep the tension that's that's pretty handy because otherwise the track could be getting uh, tighter as it well maybe if it hits a hard spot in the track or maybe if I if a tooth of the gear didn't line up just perfect I probably need to add some spacers between these motors and uh, the wheels or maybe just extend the actual wheel part to just uh, make this part longer so that it goes the whole way in Originally, the motors were going to be right up against either side, but I think uh, those motors being able to move slightly means that the tolerance of this side isn't as important. So that should help things to keep smooth. But at the minute, they can they can sort of move uh, out of alignment. We pretty much want them perfectly straight all the time, but at the minute, there's possibility that they they swing to one side. Maybe I'll try and exaggerate it. So I mean, they they could end up moving like that angle rather than being straight although it's unlikely to go that extreme because they're going to be held in the center by the actual gears here so that was just another little update uh, because i had 3d printed that part with the uh, volvo a40 i just wanted to try that out and um, i think that's pretty successful a few other parts to do so i think i'll make the changes to these wheels and then reprint those. That'll probably be the next thing I do. Uh, but making good progress with this uh, little model, I think. So it's a simple enough one. Hopefully, it won't take too long to build. So that's it. Thanks for watching.